Ever wondered how long is strep throat contagious? What is it and how does it spread? Well, strep throat is an infectious illness, primarily affecting children between the ages of 5 and 15, but it doesn't discriminate anyone can fall prey. This pesky condition is caused by the streptococcus bacteria. Picture a painful sore throat, fever and swollen glands, that's right. You've got a classic case of strep throat on your hands. It's particularly common in those who mingle closely with children or in crowded environments so teachers, parents and daycare workers, you're on high alert. Now the main culprit behind the discomfort is a throat pain that can develop quite rapidly, usually two to five days after exposure to the bacteria. Other symptoms can include pain when swallowing, fever, swollen neck glands, and red spots on the roof of your mouth. Now that we know what strep throat is, let's delve into the signs that you or someone you know might have it. Strep throat doesn't just present as a sore throat, there are other symptoms to watch out for. Now it's important to note that strep throat often starts as a pain in your throat, but it doesn't take long to escalate. This pain may develop rapidly, usually just two to five days after exposure to the bacteria. What sets strep throat apart is the intensity and speed at which these symptoms progress. Unlike a common cold, strep throat comes on quickly and hits hard. You might find that swallowing becomes a task, rather than an involuntary action, as it often causes discomfort or even outright pain. But we're not just talking about a painful throat here. Fever is another common symptom. It's your body's way of fighting off the infection, but it can leave you feeling drained and unwell. Then, there's the swollen glands in your neck, a telltale sign that your body is battling an infection. These glands, or lymph nodes, tend to become tender and enlarged when they're hard at work filtering out bacteria and viruses like the streptococcus bacteria. And finally, if you open wide and look at the roof of your mouth, you might notice tiny red spots. These spots are another hallmark of strep throat and can help distinguish it from other throat ailments. So, you've noticed these symptoms, what's the next step? Let's talk about diagnosis and treatment. If you suspect strep throat, it's crucial to get a proper diagnosis. And here's why. Strep throat isn't just your ordinary sore throat. It's an infection caused by a specific type of bacteria, the streptococcus. And to confirm its presence, a specific test is needed, the throat swab test. Imagine a cotton swab gently brushing the back of your throat. It might tickle a bit, but it's a quick and simple process. This swab collects a sample from your throat, which is then sent off to a lab. The lab technicians work their magic, and soon enough they can tell if the streptococcus bacteria are indeed the culprits behind your sore throat. So, let's say the test comes back positive. You've got strep throat. What's next? Well, the mainstay of treatment is a course of antibiotics. These powerful medicines are designed to kill the bacteria causing your discomfort. They help alleviate your symptoms, prevent the spread of the infection to others, and ward off potential complications. Now it's crucial to remember that antibiotics aren't an instant cure. Sure, they start working fairly quickly, and you might begin to feel better within a day or two. But it's essential to complete the full course as prescribed by your healthcare provider. Failing to do so might allow some of the bacteria to survive, potentially leading to a relapse or even the development of antibiotic resistance. Also, antibiotics can't erase the fact that strep throat is contagious. They can, however, reduce the period you're infectious. While untreated individuals can spread the bacteria for up to two to three weeks, those on antibiotics become less contagious within 24 to 48 hours of starting treatment. But remember, even after starting treatment, you're not immediately non-contagious. It's like setting up a roadblock. It doesn't instantly stop all traffic, but it significantly reduces it. So, while you're on the mend, continue to practice good hygiene to protect those around you. And in our next scene, we'll delve deeper into just how long strep throat remains infectious. Strep throat is contagious, but for how long exactly? Now that's an important question. When we talk about contagiousness, it essentially means the ability of the ailment to spread from one person to another. And yes, strep throat is contagious. Very contagious, in fact. The streptococcus bacteria, which is the culprit behind strep throat, loves company. It can spread quickly and easily, especially in places where people are in close contact with each other. Think of environments like households, schools, or daycare facilities. The bacteria can hitch a ride on tiny respiratory droplets that are expelled when a person with strep throat coughs, sneezes, talks, or even shares utensils with others. Now let's get to the numbers. If left untreated, a person with strep throat can remain contagious for up to two to three weeks. That's right, up to 21 days of potential bacterial transmission. But here's the good news. Once a person with strep throat begins a course of antibiotics, 
the contagious period reduces dramatically. Within 24 to 48 hours after starting antibiotics, the individual becomes significantly less contagious. However, it's important to remember that this doesn't mean the infection is completely gone. Completing the full course of antibiotics as prescribed by a healthcare provider is crucial. This ensures the infection is completely controlled and also reduces the risk of complications. In essence, while strep throat can be a highly contagious ailment, its contagiousness can be controlled effectively with timely and appropriate treatment. This goes to show the importance of seeking medical care as soon as strep throat is suspected. Knowing when you're contagious is essential, but prevention is always better than cure. So how can you prevent the spread of strep throat? Well, practicing good hygiene is key. Frequent hand washing, avoiding sharing utensils, and covering your mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing can go a long way in preventing the spread of strep throat. But we'll delve more into prevention and potential complications in our next segment. Stay tuned. Prevention is key when it comes to infectious diseases like strep throat. One of the best lines of defense is maintaining good hygiene practices. Frequent hand washing, particularly before meals and after coughing or sneezing, can significantly reduce the risk of infection. And don't underestimate the power of soap and water. They're among your strongest allies in this battle against bacteria. It's also crucial to cover your mouth and nose when you cough or sneeze. This simple act can help keep those pesky streptococcus bacteria from spreading to others around you. Remember, these bacteria are airborne, and they can travel quite a distance when propelled by a powerful sneeze or cough. If you're sharing a living space with someone who has strep throat, be extra vigilant. Avoid sharing utensils, cups, or any other items that might come into contact with the patient's mouth. And if you're the one who's ill, do your part by keeping your belongings separate and washing them thoroughly. Now, let's talk about complications. Most of the time, strep throat is a pesky but manageable condition. However, if left untreated, it can lead to some serious health issues. Rheumatic fever is one of them. This is a potentially life-threatening condition that can damage the heart, joints, nervous system, and skin. Kidney inflammation, also known as post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis, is another complication. It can lead to kidney damage, and in severe cases, kidney failure. Lastly, untreated strep throat can trigger an autoimmune inflammatory condition known as pediatric autoimmune neuropsychiatric disorders associated with streptococcal infections, or PANDAS for short. This can result in sudden, often dramatic changes in a child's behavior and motor skills. Strep throat may be common but it's not something to take lightly. It's important to recognize the symptoms, seek timely treatment and take steps to prevent its spread. Remember, your health is in your hands, and a little precaution can go a long way. So, we've covered a lot about strep throat today. This common but often misunderstood ailment is caused by the streptococcus bacteria, and it can affect anyone, although it's most prevalent among children aged 5 to 15. The primary symptom is a painful sore throat that typically develops two to five days after exposure. Accompanying symptoms can include difficulty swallowing, fever, swollen glands in the neck, and red spots on the roof of the mouth. Diagnosing strep throat usually involves a throat swab test, where a sample from the back of your throat is collected and tested for the presence of the bacteria. If you test positive, your doctor will likely prescribe a course of antibiotics. This not only helps to alleviate your symptoms but also controls the spread of the bacteria and prevents any potential complications. Yes, strep throat is indeed contagious. The bacteria can spread through respiratory droplets so, close proximity to an infected person sharing utensils or being in crowded environments can increase your risk. If left untreated, an individual can remain contagious for two to three weeks. However, with antibiotics this period can be reduced to 24 to 48 hours. Prevention is key. Good hygiene practices like frequent hand washing and covering your mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing can significantly reduce the spread of strep throat. Remember, if you suspect you or someone you know has strep throat, don't hesitate to consult a healthcare professional. Stay informed, stay healthy.